people, my name's Amanda and welcome to part two in my foundation paper piece coffee cups wall hanging using the new fabric collection by RJR Fabrics called In the Kitchen by Patrick Luce. In part two I will be showing you how to finish off that gorgeous little trio of pieced coffee cups I showed you how to make in part one. So I show you how to piece on two little borders and then how to finish it and quilt it if you choose to do so to end up with a lovely little wall hanging looking a little bit like this. It's a little bit hard to get the whole thing in the shop because it's pretty long but this is what it looks like in the end and I think it's quite cute. So this is what it looks like from the front and then this is what it looks like from the back. So as always, everything that you need to know to complete part two is down in the description box below. There you'll also find a link to part one if you missed it, as well as a link to the coffee cups pattern if you want to print that off and make this yourself. Okay, so let's get into completing our coffee cups wall hanging. To begin part two, start with piecing on the first border. For this you will need all three coffee cups completed and pieced together along with two 1.5 by 23 inch strips and two 1.5 by 10 and 3 quarter inch rectangles. So take one of the longer strips and lay it out along one of the longer sides of the pieced cups. Flip it over and pin it evenly into place. At the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch line along the full length of this edge and then with a medium to hot steamy iron, press the seam outwards towards the border strip. Then repeat the same set of steps to sew on the other border strip to the opposite side of the pieced coffee cups. Once that's finished, move on to sewing the two smaller border strips to the top and bottom edges, remembering to keep the seam allowance at a quarter inch and then pressing it outwards with the iron. For the second border, cut two two and a quarter inch by 25 inch strips and two two and a quarter inch by 14 inch rectangles. So just like with the first border, lay out the first of the longer strips, ensuring the direction in the pattern is running the right way. Flip it over and pin it evenly into place along one of the longer sides. Sew a quarter inch seam along this side, taking the pins out as you go. Then press the seam outwards again towards the border strip. Again, repeat the same steps to piece the other long border strip to the opposite side of the wall hanging. Next, pin and sew on each of the smaller border strips to the top and bottom edges, following the same set of steps as we've been doing to then complete the front part of the wall hanging. To piece the wall hanging all together, cut a 15 inch by 29 inch rectangle of batting and then the same of a backing fabric. Lay the batting out first and place the backing fabric evenly on top of it, right side up. Then lastly, place the front side of the wall hanging on top of these layers, right side facing down. Along the bottom edge, measure and mark with pins a five inch opening, and then proceed to pin the rest of the edges evenly into place. Then with a walking foot attached to your machine, Make a small back stitch on one side of the opening and then begin sewing a rough quarter inch seam along each of the pinned edges. Make another small back stitch on the opposite side of the marked opening and remove the wall hanging from the machine. With a pair of fabric scissors, cut off the excess fabric from around each side, making sure to leave a little excess where the opening is. Next, carefully snip off each of the corners and then gently pull the wall hanging right side out through the 5 inch opening. Use a chopstick to push out each of the corners and then with your fingers evenly fold in the raw edges at the opening. Give the wall hanging a good steamy press and then top stitch a scant quarter inch in from the edge on all four sides. Doing this will seal the bottom opening while adding a quilty touch. From here, you can choose to either leave it as it is or quilt it in any way you like. For mine, I chose to ditch stitch around each of the borders and then around each of the coffee cups so that they would stand out a little bit more. Now 
Now I think one of the great things about this pattern is you don't have to just make it into a wall hanging. You can definitely, definitely make more paper pieced cups and turn it into a table runner. You can definitely just make one block and turn it into like a mug rug or like a pot holder or something like that. I think it really is up to you to use your imagination to create something that you will love and use. Now to hang my wall hanging I'm just using a coat hanger because I'm just absolutely in love with that type of aesthetic at the moment but of course you can definitely add your own rod pocket to the back or if you're clever you can put in those sort of like corner pockets that people put in under the binding if you want to do a binding around this and saying that you don't have to finish off this wall hanging in the way that I have of course you can quilt it and then bind it and then finish it that way or you can do it the way that I've shown which is just sort of like the quick and easy way. Right, so let's now move on to something very exciting. When I get the opportunity to work with a fabric company, I am then able to have the opportunity to give you something back for watching and for participating and just being awesome. And that is in the form of a giveaway. Woo! So there are 16 prints from the collection in this lovely, lovely little bundle and I would absolutely love to be able to give it to one of you who can use it and cherish it and love it and make awesome awesome things. So if you would love the opportunity to win this back quarter bundle just comment below with what you most love making in the kitchen and why and I will choose a winner next week and let you know if you are the lucky recipient. Now before I go I just want to say another huge thank you to RJR Fabrics for giving me the opportunity to have fun and play and create with this range. I've just absolutely loved the opportunity to showcase this beautiful fun kitcheny range to all of you at home. And as always friends, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!